How's it going everyone? Mandy here from On The Grow and today we're doing the Battle of the Dirt Test! So what this test is going to be is we're going to compare four different types of organic soil to see which one will give us the best growth and the best taste. So let's go ahead and go over the parameters real quick. So starting with our control group, we have coconut coir, which doesn't have any nutrients added into the soil, so that's why it is our control group. We've used this in the past and it has grown very well for us. The one next to it is Texas Pure. Texas Pure is a locally sourced soil for us and it seems like a very um, sandy soil and because it has compost in it, technically it does have nutrients. This one is also OMRI listed and is organic. Next to that, we have our Jiffy Organic Seedling Mix, which once again, it does have nutrients added and uh, rooting hormones. And then we're familiar with this one over here because we've used it on another test, but this one is our Black and Gold Seedling Mix. This, as, this just like the Jiffy over here, has rooting hormones and nutrients added. So that was a quick overview of this test and now I'm gonna get these stacked up and put on the shelf. But before I do that, I wanna tell you about the big picture here with all this. So CJ is starting a different video series that has the same seedlings and uh, trays, but he's doing it hydroponically. And what we're doing is we are battling against each other to see who's going to do better, hydroponics or dirt. <laughs> And what we're going to be doing is whichever one wins from our groups, we're going to put those ones against each other and see who the true winner is. I think it's going to be me. <laughs> but anyways, let me go ahead and get these stacked up and put behind me and we will give you a play by play from here. It is day four of my sunflower dirt test. And I've gone ahead and removed the bricks and unstacked them. So now what I'm going to be doing is putting these under blackout for half a day. Uh, so right now it's about nine o'clock in the morning. We're gonna remove the blackout dome around 5 p.m. today. Though that these do not really need it, we're gonna try to keep this consistent with the hydroponic tests we're doing. And because we're doing a blackout dome on that, I wanna go ahead and do it for these ones as well. So I think that's about it for today. I'm gonna to go ahead and get these watered and then onto the blackout. It is day seven and it is harvest day for our battle of the dirts test. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and talk about these before we harvest. I wanna begin over here with our black and gold soil. The growth looks really consistent across the top. And I mean, we, we have a um, pretty good amount of seed hulls still on it compared to what we're used to. And there is a little bit of inconsistent growth on this corner and, oh, and over here too. <laughs> But then if you look over here on our Jiffy soil, we have really great growth right here in this front section. And then it kind of just moves down towards the back where it just gets really splotchy and we have a lot of seed holes on it. And I believe it's because both of these seedling mixes tend to get very dry. Like at the beginning when we um, made the trays, you literally have to work the water into it, kind of like a Play-Doh in a sense for it to retain the water. And I think over the time, it just still kind of does that. So now let's move over here 
to this one. Our Texas Pier looks good. The growth is very full and it's pretty much consistent. I would say about right here, it's a little bit higher than here, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty good across the whole thing. And this one did kind of catch up with that. And I feel like these ones would have been good competitors if this hadn't done what it did in the back. <laughs> Don't know that's the right sentence there, but that's what we're leaving. <laughs> and then our coconut core. I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought coconut core would have kept up a lot better with the Texas Pier. It still did great growth, but I mean, even the front of this one over here, the Jiffy, did better than the coconut core. But we're gonna go ahead and harvest these and we'll go into the flavors of them and the weights and see which one did better on that aspect. So on our black and gold side, we had a harvest of 434 grams of sunflower seed. surprise here on our jiffy tray we're at 497 grams of sunflower so we just got done harvesting our coconut core and we're at 388 grams of sunflower So we just finished harvesting the Texas Pier, and wow, we're at 532 grams. So our winner for this test is our Texas Pier at a 532 gram of weight. And then if you move down, it's kind of funny because it's like in order but backwards. Um, our Jiffy actually came at 497 grams, which shocked both of us and I think if that back area would have germinated all the way it might have been a Texas Pier <laughs> and then if we move on to our black and gold it got 434 grams which is still pretty good <laughs> and our coconut core to our surprise lost this one and we actually had to throw the whole thing out so that was 388 grams of wasted uh, product. <laughs> um, so things I want to talk about are what worked and what didn't work. What worked was our Texas Pier. It grew very well, very well, and it was consistent all the way across. And then same with these two. Like I honestly, I didn't think these ones were going to do that good just by the look of them. And also because that soil, it just dries up so much, but they did a fantastic job. And then what didn't work was our coconut core? What the heck? <laughs> that one, I thought it was gonna do a great job. It's always been a very great competitor and usually it kind of outdoes some of our other ones. And to see it actually a dampening off, which we have never had on our produce other than green amaranth, was very shocking and kind of makes me wonder is coconut core maybe more prone to that? Don't know. May have to do some research. Not sure if I'm gonna do it, but it's still a thought. <laughs> Um, so that is it for this test. If you liked the video, please give it a th thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please ask away. And also subscribe to us. We love new subscribers. And if you want to follow us on our Instagram, we are at on the Grove farms. Thank you and have a great day.